So we created our own travel website to test this. Uh, we called it uh, Travel Finder because we're not really very creative. <laughs> and we drew that plane, which we were super happy about because that's the limits of our artistic skills, <laughs> is that little plane. And it's just a simulated travel website. So people search on it for flights, same interface as every other website, where do you want to go, search for a flight. But then we randomly assign people to see different versions of the search process. So some people, let's say you guys over here, randomly got to see what we call the blind version. And that looks like this. It's like orbits. It's just a search bar that slowly, a progress bar that slowly fills up. And then when that thing is done, you got to see a bunch of flights. That's the boring one, but that's actually business as usual for most websites when they're searching, is they just show you that, and then they show you what they found. Then we did what we call the transparent website. Imagine you guys logged on and tried to search, and instead of getting this progress bar, you got this. So you can see it says, now we're searching Continental, now we're searching US Airways, AirTran, it's going through. The progress bar is still there, but the flights are updating as well. So it's cycling through things and showing you stuff. In the end, we showed people in these two different groups the exact same set of flights. But we asked them, would you like to buy a flight? Is this a good website? Would you recommend it to your friends? And people who saw the blind website with the progress bar really liked the site a lot less, and they were much less likely to buy a ticket. The exact same <laughs> flight results. So there's no difference in the output. It's just the process of seeing it that really changed people's perceptions. And we, asked, uh, we tried a couple different versions of this as well. So you can always play when something is searching. There's all kinds of things you can show while it's searching to try to entertain people. So one thing that we did was uh, while you're searching and you click search, we do uh, upselling. So we say, oh, we see you're going to Las Vegas. Here are some other things you could do in Las Vegas. Click on them if you want to buy them. And I'll tell you that people hate it. <laughs> so when you're waiting for a search to finish, you really don't want to be sold other things. You just want to see the results. So that doesn't work. We did one that we thought might work, actually, which we called entertainment. And this one, after you click search, an interactive game of tic-tac-toe pops up. And you play with the computer. So it starts with you know, an O somewhere, and then you put an X, and you play the whole game. And people really loved playing that game. They were delighted that while they were waiting, they got to play a game. But it didn't actually make them like the website more. So it isn't just that when you see the work being done, it's interesting and fun. Because when you play a game, it's interesting and fun, but that doesn't seem to change your perceptions that this is a really good website that I should buy from. It's only when you show the work being done that people really start to say, this is a great service that I really want to buy from. And our hardest test that we compared this to was, so imagine two groups of people again. You guys this time, instead of getting the blind where it fills up, what we actually gave you was you click search and you get your search results immediately, right away without waiting at all. And this group over here has to wait for 30 seconds for the flight results to come up. And if uh, in an online environment, waiting for 30 seconds is like waiting for six or seven days in the real world. I mean, it's a really long amount of time to wait online. The difference is, though, in the 30 seconds that you were doing this, we showed you the work. And it turns out that the people who wait 30 seconds and see the work like it more than the people who get it right away. And even more surprisingly, when we have the same people try both, the majority of people choose the one that makes them wait for 30 seconds and shows the work than the one that gives them their results right away. We always think when we're providing services of any kind that faster is always better. And very often faster is better. We like things right away. But there are other things that come into play, like is this website doing a good job? I'd like to see some work being done before I'm sure that I really like this website. And it turns out that when we see the work being done, we really like it a lot. Now, by the way, if we make people wait for 30 seconds with the blind thing versus right away, everyone picks right away. So we don't like to wait. We only like to wait when we see work being done. But my favorite part of this whole study is we also ask people a bunch of questions about the website, about their feelings about the website, which is kind of funny because we shouldn't really have feelings about websites. It turns out they're, they don't have any feelings for us but we still have feelings for websites. And we asked them this question. We said, as you were um, waiting for your results, how hard was the algorithm working for you? So think about what, what the heck does that question even mean? Do algorithms work for you? No, it's just a computer program. 
Do they work hard or not hard? Well, no, it's just an algorithm that's programmed. But we found that when people saw the thing happening, they actually were very likely to say, the algorithm was working very hard for me. They felt that, almost like the locksmith. So we, in a weird way, the things that happen in the real world, we bring them into online environments and have the same kind of emotional reactions as there. And by the way, that feeling that the algorithm is working hard for you is a huge predictor of whether you buy a ticket. So the feeling that all that work is being done, more than anything else about the website, is what drove you to say, I really like these results and I'm really going to buy a ticket.